Today we are going to be looking at the principle guiding the use of fertilizer and how you can get the best results uh, out of fertilizer application. A whole lot of farmers apply fertilizer the wrong way. They apply fertilizer at the wrong time and at the end of the day they end up not uh, seeing the result of that fertilizer application which should be increment in their yield. So uh, presently, a bag of fertilizer in Nigeria is a, is a little bit above 30,000 naira. And so, if you if you are using fertilizer on your farm, and you are applying it the wrong way, the wrong time, you are not doing the right thing with your fertilizer, and you are not getting your uh, yield. Because the essence of application of fertilizer is to improve your yield. Fertilizer is basically nothing than plant food just to supply your your plant and your crop with nutrients so that they will give you good output so on today's episode we are going to be looking at the principle guiding fertilizer application and what you should do for you to have the best results when applying fertilizer in case you are watching for the first time my name is Lawa Lushala Lawa and this channel is dedicated to promote sustainable and profitable agriculture so if you are watching for the first time kindly click on subscribe button uh, to have access to more of my videos so first thing first uh, there are four principal guiding fertilizer application of fertilizer use uh, is a general rule is a universal rule so uh, we have the principle of time uh, the principle of source the principle of place then the principle of quantity so I will take it one by one so first and foremost the principle of time you have to know the best time for your fertilizer application and knowing the best time uh, i'm talking about when to apply at the right stage of the development of the of the plant for example i will cite the example of a maize for example you have to apply your first dose of fertilizer after two weeks of planting the second dose will happen after about five weeks of planting so you have to monitor all these kind of stages and the second thing about time you don't apply fertilizer when you know uh, rain is imminent when you know uh, it's about to rain uh, you see a rain forming in the cloud forming some cloud and you went ahead to apply fertilizer or you check your weather forecast on your phone the weather forecast is telling you it will rain tomorrow and you are applying fertilizer uh, late in the evening today a larger percentage of that fertilizer will be washed away and you will not be getting the result they will not be able to deposit those nutrients you want them to give to your plant so don't apply fertilizer when the rain is imminent and don't apply fertilizer when the soil is very dry the best time for you to apply fertilizer is when immediately maybe it rained yesterday the second day after rain is the best time for you to apply fertilizer because fertilizer is just like salt they are like chemical salt when you apply them to a wet soil they get dissolved easily and the uh, probability of them getting washed away through erosion has reduced so that is that about the principle of time. The second principle of fertilizer application I will be talking about is the principle of place. There are several methods of fertilizer application, but all these methods are not just there for nothing. It have uh, the kind of crop they are suited for. For example, the best way to apply fertilizer in the rice farm is through broadcasting because of the way by which rice is being planted rice is being planted with a very very sh uh, very very small spacing and you have them clusters together so the best way you can cover a whole lot of area of them is just to broadcast to broadcast your fertilizer you cannot use that same fertilizer application method in a yam field if you do that you end up feeding your wheat 
applying fertilizer to the bare soil, to the bare ground, rather than applying fertilizer to where it is needed. So, we have broadcasting method which is suitable for vegetables, all these leafy vegetables and rice. We also have a uh, ring method. The ring method is actually uh, best suited for tree crop, such as plantain, oil palm, and all kind of tree crop. Also, we have the deep uh, side placement method, which is suitable for crops like maize, sorghum, and other arable crop, cassava, and every other thing like that. So you have to know the crop you are planting and know the best fertilizer application method you are planting. Don't just uh, bring fertilizer application method that is suitable for rice. You are using it on, on an oil palm farm. You end up wasting your fertilizer. Uh, you end up feeding the feed, uh, feeding the wheat instead of feeding the crop. So that's that about the principle of place. The third principle I'll be talking about is the principle of source. All crop have their uh, definite or their peculiar nutrient requirement. The nutrient required by maize is not the same nutrient required by planting, for example. The nutrient required by soya bean is not the nutrient required by a potato, for example. You have to know the, the favorite nutrient required by your plant so as to know the best type of fertilizer to apply. Another way to do this is also to know the deficient nutrient in your soil. When you know the deficient nutrient in your soil and the abundant nutrient in your soil, it will kind of give you a kind of picture for you to know the type of fertilizer you will buy. So as to supplement, uh, to complement or supplement the one that is available or the one that is abundant in your soil. All this kind of information are the information you should know that will guide you in making the best choice in the type of fertilizer you should be buying. Know the, your crop requirements and know your soil status when it comes to uh, nutrient availability. The last principle I will be talking about on this topic is the principle of quantity. The principle of quantity. Make sure you apply the right quantity. For example, uh, a farmer that applies let me say 150 kg per hectare on his maize farm you cannot compare the yield that will be achievable or that will be achieved by that farmer with a farmer that apply 50 kg of fertilizer 50 to 1 kg there is a big difference so it also means that there will be difference in the yield because there is difference in the nutrients applied already so the, all these kind of information are the principle you have to bear at the back of your mind apply your fertilizer at the right time apply your fertilizer at the right space at the right place apply it at the right place using the best uh, method of application the way by which you apply fertilizer fertilizer is most needed at the root zone you don't go by go by applying fertilizer to your leaf though there are some uh, foliar active fertilizer but when we are talking about granular fertilizer you apply it to the root zone apply it at the right place the right source uh the right at the right time and the, make sure you apply the right quantity so with this i've come to the end uh, of today's uh topic and i hope you got value from this video one way or the other if you actually got value from this video kindly give it a like share with your friends and um for further inquiry or further question, you can drop it on the comment section or you message me on the WhatsApp number showing on your screen. Thank you for your time and see you on my next video. Shishi.